Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn daily energy reading and this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to get our animal oracle cards. We're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with, what you may possibly need to look at and possible future energies coming in for you. All right, well, this one went flying. And we have trust and divine detour. So struggling with trusting and divine detour. So something may have happened. Something may have gone on that you're struggling with. That you're like, hey, wait a minute, what's happening here? All right, so what you may need to look at, a whole bunch came over. So I'm just going to take this one, which is overcoming any obstacles. It may be a situation where the universe is trying to show you that you are actually stronger than what you think you are, that you can handle um, these changes, that you can handle things, that maybe you're doubting yourself and that, you know, you can really handle more than what you think you can. Sometimes we need to be tested like that. Sometimes we need to be shown these things to see how strong we actually are, even though it's not fun or we don't like that. Um, and it's not easy, but then when you come out the other side, you're like, wow, I'm stronger than I thought I was. Future energies, we have co-create with spirit, and then we have be playful. So I feel like it's kind of focusing on the positive and seeing why something has happened, right? Um, like, a, like I was saying before, is that maybe this detour is about you realizing how strong you actually really are. We have overall energy, be loyal to what you love. It could also be that for you to be strong, to stand up for things that you believe in, right? That you're loyal to, that you enjoy, that you want to do, that sometimes we get caught up in so many other things is that we have to have that time to focus on ourselves because life goes by so quickly and that we, I just feel that it's important to have that time to yourself to recharge and do the things that you love to do, right? That if you're always giving to others or you're always, yes, we have to work. Yes, we have responsibilities. Yes, there are things in our lives that we have to do. But that I feel like that doesn't have to consume us. I feel like it's, it's okay to take that time for yourself, those few hours or a day or whatever that may be, planning that vacation where you can recharge and you can focus on you. And I feel like that does more good to be able to have that time to do those things. All right, so we got some tarot here. Let's see. Also struggling with King of Pentacles. Could have to do, it could have to do with something with work, that maybe your work changes, your job changes, um, something changes within work. Um, maybe there's a new opportunity com that comes up for you that maybe there's, you see like a job posting or you see somebody says, hey, we have, you know, this position open or, or a friend or a family member, member says, hey, why don't you come work for us? I feel like it, it may be this opportunity. It could also have to do with money that you're struggling with. It could be an opportunity. Maybe you're not feeling happy in your job. Um, maybe, like I said, there was a detour in your job, something to do with your career or finances that you're struggling with, right? That you're seeing, you're emotional about, okay, you're struggling with emotions, you're struggling with feelings, that you're overly sensitive, that there's something that has affected you, um, that you're struggling with. And sometimes when that first happens, we kind of get caught up in that moment and we're not really able to see outside of it. Like we're just feeling emotional, that we're just struggling with it, or we're feeling angry or, right? And then we're shutting down. I feel like you're shutting down about something. Um, I feel like you're overwhelmed with something and you're struggling with it. Um, it could be, um, <clears throat> for some reason, I'm feeling like your dedication to something that maybe there's something that you've always worked on or you've always focused on. And, and now you're, you're, you're struggling with that. And you're like, well, why did I spend so much time doing that? Like it's, it's not, it's not turning out the way that I had wanted it to. All right, we have the Justice card, which is Libra, and f overcoming any obstacle and seeing that things are happening for a reason for you. Things are coming in for you, that you are actually stronger than you realize that you are, that you're, 
it's almost like you're moving away from this energy and you're realizing, okay, like I, like this happened for a reason. I need to turn my own thought process around is that I, you know, it's almost like don't get yourself caught in this. Yes. When it first happens that you're upset about it, that there's something that you're stressing about. There's something that you're shutting down about. There's something that you're backing away from. There's something that you feel hurt by, but it's almost like you need to realize that, okay, yes, I need time to process this, but I also need to make sure that I don't stay in this energy for a long time because then that can become destructive to myself, right? That yes, taking that time to work through what you need to, but five of pentacles is a temporary hardship. So this is just something temporary that, that, that whatever this is going on here is that you have to find that strength to pull yourself out of it and overcome this obstacle that we have here and realizing the rewards of it and seeing that you're stronger than you thought you were. <clears throat> Sometimes it's hard for us to see that when we're going through something. All right. Moving forward, moving it away that actually, I feel like life becomes calmer when you work through this situation here. And again, if it has to do with a job that, yeah, like if your job changes or something happens and it's like, oh my gosh, like, you know, uh, how could this have happened? But then it's like that door is closing, but you have to look at it. Okay. What door is opening up? Right? Because over here we have this chest is opening up and it's filled with pentacles and this door is opening here. This one you may feel is closing here, but look, this door is opening up here that you're able to let go of some things, right? And then I also feel like that goes with being playful and not worrying as much. Yes, there are things that you have to be concerned about, but I feel like not to the point where it becomes where you're backing away and you're shutting down. You know, like I said, we need those times to process things, but we have to make sure that we don't get caught in that energy for a long time, that we look at the opportunities that are coming into us because the four of cups can be that you're not interested, you're not into it, you're not, you don't want to hear it, you don't want to have it. He's reading his book, but then he's, you know, taking that time to himself, but he's looking at that opportunity, that cup that is coming into him. So it's like seeing the opportunity from what this happened over here, seeing you know, what is it making lemonade out of lemons? I feel like that's what that card there represents. And then bottom of the deck, we have the queen of pentacles is knowing your own strength, right? Grounding yourself, kind of being, sometimes we can, our thought process, right? We can get over emotional. We can think about all of these crazy things, but it's almost like the queen of pentacles, I feel like is that grounding energy. Okay. Let me really look at the reality here, you know, like what's really going on here? How can I move myself away from this? How do I move on from this, right? How do I calm myself down? How do I figure out how to get past this and realize, okay, this is probably a learning lesson for me. This is more than likely a bigger opportunity, a better opportunity for me. And <clears throat> let me turn that thought process around so that I don't get caught in this energy here. All right. So Maybe it's an opportunity, right, where you're going to have some time in between jobs or situations where you can start focusing on those, you know, you're like, well, you know, if I'm, this is what's going on and I have this time on my hands, then, you know, maybe I'm going to go to the beach, you know, like maybe I'm going to go for a walk or a hike or do those things that make me happy and so that I can clear my head, right? So I can have that time to clear my head to see the opportunities that are coming in for me. All right. The new opportunities, the fool cards, and he's happy and he's on his beach, on the beach and he's skipping and he's having fun with his dog. So I feel like that goes back with the dog there being loyal to what you love. All right. Relationships and yourself though, right? That relationship that you have with yourself that you see that, okay, I don't want to get stuck in this overly emotional situation to where I'm backing away and I'm shutting down that I need to catch myself because if you saw a friend or you had a family member or somebody that was close to you and you kept seeing them that they were backing away and shutting down that you would want to reach out and say hey are you okay you know you need to I know this is a really hard situation but you need to you know get yourself out there and you'd be surprised if you just get yourself out that that can really help turn things around and it's like you have to do that for yourself too right you have to look out for yourself Exactly, your high priestess, 
your inner feeling, your inner voice that you have to look out for you too. Um, lovers, relationship, again, I feel like that goes back with you, and, but I also feel like maybe there's a new relationship coming in for you. Um, maybe a door closed here, but a door is opening up here. So lovers, which can be Gemini. And <clears throat> I just feel like it's rebuilding something. You know, does this have to do with a partnership or something? I don't know. But I feel like over here with the Two of Cups, the High Priestess and the Lovers, I feel like it has something to do with a relationship and sort of a realization there. Um, Six of Cups, which I love, which I feel goes back with the Sandpiper Spirit, which is being playful, right? Having fun, being loyal to what you love. Um, I feel like that's what that Six of Cups is, that happiness. We have the Nine of Swords. I feel like with Capricorn, it's like... You have this excitement, this good, and then all, I always feel, I'm a Capricorn sun and a Capricorn rising, and I always feel like there has to be, there always seems to be like this nine of swords, right, that, that gets in there. It's like, yeah, everything's really good, and then it's like, oh, this nine of swords pops up here, and it's like, okay, because I feel like it's like... I just feel like Capricorn ha struggles with with so many things. I feel like it's, we get there, but it's like more of a challenge for Capricorn. I just feel like, I'm not saying all Capricorns, you know, maybe there's some people where things just fall in place naturally, but I, but I kind of feel like definitely from what I've gone through my whole life and other Capricorns that I've known and just reading your messages and everything, it's like, yeah, we get there, but it's like, it's not an easy path. You know, it's like, there's always challenges there. There's always, you know, this, this, it's almost like these obstacles are put in the way of Capricorn to see how badly do you want something? How badly do you want change? Or, you know, it's, you're going to be tested or you're going to be challenge to see but I feel like that shows how strong Capricorn really is because Capricorn can handle a lot more than what you think you can handle I'm not saying other signs can't I'm just saying from what I know my own experience reading your messages is that whatever is attained by Capricorn is something that is is fought for something that is has 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 been a challenge has been work has been um which I almost feel like is a good thing because when Capricorn succeeds, Capricorn appreciates it to the highest level because you know how much you've gone through in order to achieve what it is that you've been wanting to achieve, right? To achieve your, your nine of cups, right? Or your 10 of cups that you've gone through a lot in order to get through that. And you really appreciate everything that you have because it's been a struggle. It's been a challenge. Just like I've said before, it's like, when I think of Capricorn, I always think of that mountain and that goat and it's, you know, trying to get up the hill and it has all the rocks and the landslides and the challenges and the weather because Capricorn is, you know, December, January and it's like the coldest um, well, in the United States. It's like the coldest time of the year, right? And it's it's the middle of winter and it's it's always like a challenge and it was like Capricorn was born in, ch in the challenging <laughs> weather right the challenging time of the year you know for for survival and I just feel like it's even though it feels like it's a struggle and it's like why me but again I feel like it's to show how tough Capricorn really is to be able to come overcome any ap obstacle and have those challenges and face those challenges and realize how strong you actually are right um, eight of pentacles is I feel like is seeing things from a different perspective and learning and looking at it as not as Capricorn always gets the short end of the stick but looking at it as Capricorn is really strong and is a survivor and Capricorn looks at the opportunities for those challenges to become a stronger and better person right it's how you perceive it how do you look at it right the knight of swords is how are you looking at it that you fought those battles, right? I mean, look at that face. And we have the eagle there, which is success. And it's appreciating every obstacle that you've had to fight for. But that's also why I feel that it's important for Capricorn to have that time where you do those things, that you're loyal to what it is that you love, that I feel like it's your... Um, 
doing those things that help to recharge you and energize you and give you that strength to face the challenges that may come your way to come out of the shadows and to look at it as how strong you are and that you can accomplish anything and you can put you can do anything if you put your mind to it but it's all about your perception within yourself is that do you let the situation overcome you and control you and stop you or do you let the situation make you stronger, build you up, and push you forward. All right. Let's close out with a Whispers of Healing. Let's see. We have Hydrate. So I feel like that's important for you to, again, be loyal to what you love and hydrate yourself and making sure that you're taking care of yourself. And then let's pick this one. We have sensitivity is that sometimes, you know, that we can be sensitive to things, but I feel like it's also about your perception about what's going on around you and how do you perceive that. Um, and again, as it as it a challenge that's going to stop you or a challenge that's going to motivate you to push you even harder to reach you go your goals. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.